First, you'll need to choose one of two mounting options. You can use the included wall mount to hang it onto a wall, either underneath or above the screen, or you can place the device on a table with a separately sold table stand. When hanging the device onto the wall, be sure to route the cables through the gap on the wall mount to secure them. When mounting the device on the wall or placing it on a table, consider the camera's height and angle. Try to match the general eye line of call participants as they appear on your screen. You can tilt the device up or down when it is mounted or placed on the table stand. To fine tune the camera angle in a more subtle way, you can make adjustments in the device settings menu. Once the Expand Vision 5 has been mounted, you can connect it to your TV or monitor using the HDMI socket. Next to the HDMI socket, you'll find a USB-C socket. You can use it to connect compatible devices, such as a mouse or keyboard. You can use Wi-Fi to establish a network connection or plug a LAN cable into the Ethernet port on the back of the device. Next, connect the device to the power supply by plugging the cable into the power supply socket. Finally, plug the adapter into a wall socket and the device will turn on automatically. To perform a factory reset, use a thin object to press the reset button on the back of the device. The device will then restart, which can be seen on the connected monitor or TV. The LED ring on the Expand Vision 5 will tell you the current status of the device. When the device is in standby mode, the LED will light up red. When the device is switched on and active, the LED will light up in a dim mint color. When you join a meeting, the LED ring will light up in a bright mint color when the camera and microphone are active. When the camera is active, but the microphone is muted, the LED will partially light up red. When the camera is inactive and only the microphone is active, the LED will light up in a dim mint color. When both the camera and microphone are inactive, the LED will light up in the same color and parts of the ring will light up red. You can adjust the camera by tilting the device itself up or down. To adjust the lens settings, go into the device's settings menu on the expand control. You are able to zoom in and out as well as pan and tilt the lens. Follow the instructions on the screen to adjust the camera to your desired settings. Whenever you are not using the expand Vision 5, you may choose to turn off the camera and microphones. To do so, press the camera and microphone buttons on top of the device once. An LED on the device will light up red to indicate that the camera is turned off. Another LED will light up blue to indicate that the microphones are turned off. Please note that the buttons are not intended to be used during an active call. To join your next scheduled meeting with the device, you can use the expand control or a supported touchscreen if you have booked the room and scheduled a meeting, you can join a meeting by following the instructions on the Expand Control screen or a connected touch screen. Firmware updates for the Expand Vision 5 can be accessed through EPOS Manager or any other supported unified communication solution. Your IT administrator can use the software to enable updates to occur automatically or to schedule them manually. This will be done remotely, so there's no interaction required with the device itself to update its firmware.